Right where the Inoko population is, is mainly a wetland. There's uh, water everywhere. Uh, there's places you could boat to or land a float plane in, plane in pretty much within a half a mile of anywhere. But that's what makes it a great place for grasses and sedges. A lot of the grasses and sedges that occur in Alaska uh, occur where there's openings in the forest. And those openings in the forest occur where there's wetlands. So this might look like a simple grass meadow to most folks but it's a very complex environment that provides year-round uh, forage for wood bison. We've got the Calamagrasis grass um, stands high is really great in the springtime and early summer and sometimes in real late winter. We've got sedge which is bison's preferred winter food that's really the the gem that keeps them alive all winter that holds a lot of nutrition throughout the winter. They dig through the snow to get to that some of it's even still green in the winter time and then we've got these places like this where the was once water, um, even this year, the water goes away and new vegetation comes up midsummer. And those are the three kind of portions of this habitat that are critically important. The tall grass, the short sedge, and the, and the vegetation that doesn't been, begin to grow until mid to late summer. With those three components, it makes a perfect year-round habitat for wood bison here in the lower Yukon and Noko. This is uh, one of the, an example of one of the great wetland habitats available here in the lower Yukon and Noko area where we've got uh, equisetum, which is a, a really valuable food for spring and summertime. As the water recedes through the summer, uh, equisetum grows in its place and, uh, and the bison can get in here and, and take advantage of this highly palatable vegetation. And you can see how they've grazed off all this equisetum about uh, at ground level. And you can see what's, what hasn't been grazed yet. This is just a tiny little area, you know, uh, 25 feet by 10 feet. And if you look out, there's there's square miles of this that has never been touched, uh, just waiting for bison in the future. Um, but it's obvious that they like it a lot. Um, they probably get a lot of nutrition that, uh, from these aquatic plants that they don't necessarily get from the dryland plants. So it's a good mix into their annual diet. This is a very special amphibian. It's the only amphibian we have in interior Alaska, the, the boreal wood frog. And it freezes solid in the winter time. It's very unique for that and uh, comes out alive in the spring. Bison fecal patties have incredible amounts of uh, insect larvae and insects uh, which feed things like boreal wood frogs and shrews and small birds. And that works its way up through the whole ecosystem, uh, improving the abundance and value. What you see behind me here is evidence of bison using this landscape along the Inoko River drainage. Bison are pretty special how they get through the winter. They sweep snow with their face in order to get to the vegetation. So here we have different uh, pits where bison have worked their way along, swept the snow off this equisetum and sedge, and uh, they get down to what they need to eat. They take a few bites and then they move on, and uh, that's how they use the landscape. So we spent a lot of effort and time figuring out the right places to put bison in Alaska, and we've captured bison over the last few days, and we're realizing that this was a very good spot to put wood bison. There's uh, wonderful vegetation here. This is some sedge, and, uh, and there's other grasses here. These bison are in phenomenally good condition. They've been out about, oh, just shy of two years, about a year and a half, and uh, uh, they're obviously doing quite well on what we have to offer, what this landscape has to offer. This is their main diet out here in the winter. It's called sedge. Um, it's kind of what people recognize as kind of sharp grass that's around the water's edge in a lot of places. This stuff that's still green all winter is what's really uh, good for them. It holds a lot of nutrients, um, and they still also consume the stuff that's not green in the winter also. And this is a, this is a, a regular grass. Calmagrass, this grass, um, that's their summer and spring food, and uh, there is many square miles of that uh, all around them here now, um, and same with the sedge. So it's pretty exciting to see that they're doing so well, and uh, it's nice to see that they're 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 uh, taking advantage of the right foods here in the Inoko. After 23 years of effort to get bison on this landscape, uh, they're finally here. And we spent the last week uh, putting callers out to try to understand how they're doing, and they're doing awesome. And the outlook is amazing. This gift that has been given to us and to the future generations uh, is looking really bright, and we're excited about it.